Hey Capricorn, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot, here to do your March 16th through the 31st reading. This is a general tarot reading, so love might show up, love might not show up. It really just depends on what your situation is, what's going on, what energies, what spirit wants you to know during this time, okay? I'm going to pull five cards give you those energies and then two oracle cards to see what you need to focus and meditate on um, this reading is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising or venus some of the messages may or may not resonate so take that into account because it's a general reading all right one more shuffle and then i'm gonna give it a cut okay all right capricorn ready so you're starting with the world card okay travel internet communication here is happening text messages anything virtual um, connecting possibly with one of the four fixed signs aquarius leo scorpio taurus uh, for some of you that might resonate for some of you might not this is also um astral travel for some of you and some type of um of, of victory i'm feel i'm picking up like some kind of a victory for you guys and also i'm going to clarify that but also um uh, some of you are finishing a really great book or you you will be or you are you're finishing something to do with writing okay um if you're gonna if you're a writer or you're trying to get something published this is a good time for this um, it's a good time to finish it <laughs> this is what I want to say not a good time to publish it because again we're in mercury retrograde it's a good time to finish this you've got lots of that mercury reflection time happening here so if you've got something that you've been working on get it done get it done during this time okay look another victory card i told you i was seeing victory here so i definitely feel oops my microphone i definitely feel like you're going to be victorious you see i'm seeing wreaths here you're going to be victorious in whatever you're trying to accomplish at this time what whatever you have going on finish it that's what they're saying finish it now okay you have the lover's card marriage union making a decision to be with someone deciding two people not just you somebody else also coming together somebody's been away they've been working you've been away you've been focusing on other things you're focusing on doing other things and then all of a sudden you get this you know these could be attached to victory and love as well there's communication definitely could be a gemini that you're connecting to but the energy really is there's decisions that get made about love you and another person somebody you both decide to commit you both decide to come together you both decide to get married um, surrounded by uh, victory in this I'm gonna pull a clarifying card although I don't know why we usually need to pull clarifying cards for the lovers because that's such a beautiful card um, okay ace of Pentacles there's definitely an energy if you're female somebody's um um, there could be engagement or somebody's um, offering this to you during this time okay or offering there's communication about a new job coming in um, where you partner up with someone as well that is uh, you guys are just meant to be this is like the universe is bringing you guys together a business partnership of some sort uh, coming together um, also if you finish something that you're doing you will um, there is an element here somebody's somebody's gonna offer to pay you for for this okay someone that you're close to that you're in communication with okay um, if you work for a company they could offer to pay for some service that you're offer or you're doing or something you're completing big money too. the ace of Pentacles there's potential for um, uh, a business venture also with someone and there's big money here to be made with this situation okay um, nine of Pentacles look at you oh my gosh Capricorn you're gonna be like this is your bankroll for sure I see you that you this is gonna put you in financial security boom 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 um, whatever it could be maybe you meet like a really rich 
person you start dating some a really rich person and they want to be with you and they support you financially they try to help you whatever it is you've got someone here that this energy even if it's not connected i just see you being in the place of extreme abundance and independence happiness you know look she has all these pentacles at her feet she's in this garden this beautiful garden so much growth here um with her little bird or her little pet hold on i just want to look and see if anything else is coming up for that yeah this um i'm so i know this is weird i know most of us this uh, there's someone here is italian or there is an energy of um going to italy maybe there's a trip uh, vineyards. I'm seeing vineyards. I'm seeing grapes. I'm seeing vineyards. I'm seeing somewhere out where, um, you know, out in the country where there's vineyards. It doesn't have to be Italy. If someone, if you're not traveling there, there's an energy of being connected to that somehow, some way, or someone that you know who, uh, this could be a mother. Somebody has a mother in, um, goes out and you know walks through her vineyard of some sort um this woman has a lot of money there's a connection to her somehow some way if it's you know if it's not you that it's just another message that's coming through and maybe she has like a bird or a canary or something or it's a sister it's somebody you know who's pretty rich has good amount of money might be trying to help you in some way supporting your business um Okay, now we have the Five of Swords, so you might also want to watch out for somebody just being a little nasty with you, Mis mismanaging communication. Just watch out for this energy. I don't feel like it's anything that's going to throw you off because you have so much excellent, beautiful stuff happening here. Um, there's just, there's just going to be somebody who's going to just, you know, be a little controlling or try to tell you what to do um or or you know give you their advice at the expense of you know hurting others because they're just being a little vindictive i think you'll just let it roll right off your back um even if even if this is you and these people try to come in and you know push themselves on you i just feel like you're going to be the victor in this um a bit cocky and and stand uh, stand your ground as well Okay, now you have the King of Cups, Capricorn. So there's a connection here to a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this person is, I just, looking at his face. Oh, uh, he's very stoic. He or she. If it's a she, more in their masculine energy. But this person does not share their emotions. Okay, they try really hard to do that because you see his foot. Whoops, let me see if I can get it to focus it's almost like his foot wants to go into the water so he can get in touch with his empath empathic side um it kind of creeps out a little bit but it doesn't get out there all the way and mm, it mostly stays on solid ground and this king of cups very solid stable person but you should know look at all that water back there this could be a pisces all that water back there they're churning with emotion deep inside but they don't show it they don't express their emotions to you um it doesn't have to be a water sign but just this description of this person okay they're just very business they come across as very business like i'm definitely feeling this is a lot of Pisces energy here, or they come across with that Pisces energy because we have some fish here. This person is kind of like has a glazed look in their eye. They don't really look right at you. They kind of just are looking. They, I feel like they're distracted a lot in some way, but the King of Cups upright is a very good person. Um, it's just their energy kind of, I don't know, you kind of question it sometimes. Like, what the heck are you doing? What is going on? Why are you, you know, why do you... Why are you why are you being that way? <laughs> um, but it's just they're quirky. They're a little strange. That's all. I don't feel like, like there's anything really like wrong. It's just you'll know you'll know them when you see them. If it's this new someone coming in, or someone that you know, you you just be like, yep, I know exactly who that is. They're harmless. This could be a father figure as well, or an older brother. Um, you know, they're they're symbolic for some reason. I want to actually pull a clarifying card to see what the purpose is because he's very stoic and static. He's not doing anything. He just sits there and it's like he's not even there. He's like he's like the guy that's at the party and um, but he's got his back turned to the group of people he's talking to and he's looking at the wall. 
Like he's there, but he's not there. <laughs> you know, like I almost feel like there's, um, you know, everybody's knocking and the lights are on, but nobody's home. That kind of energy with this person. <laughs> Let me just pull a card just to see. Oh, that's communication with this person. I don't know you have some kind of challenge to overcome with this person and it's going to be significant for you during this time period. Okay, there's going to be communication with them, um, truthful communication. It, it's going to be good. It'll be victorious. They might just kind of open up and tell you some stuff, tell you some truths, not emotions, more logical communication with them. All right. Um, it could definitely be related to this situation here with the lovers. Now let's pull the Romance Angel card to see what your love message is or what you need to focus on. Oh, you have deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in that in this relationship. You, um, I don't feel like you want to focus too much on that, but I think you want to be aware. And I'm not going to go too deep into that. It doesn't mean that it's this person. It could just be something that... Mm, you're questioning. So you may need to just be aware about um, people that are surrounding you. Just maybe take a second look at these people. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying to go in and just start assuming that they're bad. There could be just one person in your circle, in your world, who is wearing a false mask, but they are wearing that mask because there's fear of being um there they have a vulnerability about them they don't want anyone to know i don't feel it's deception in the sense of like you know you can watch a movie and you know you know the actor's real names but they're deceiving you with, by being a particular character it's not meant for harm um i just feel like there's someone in your periphery that kind of just maybe is an actor or just kind of plays this role um of really not being fully present I, I, but I, again, I feel like they're harmless. So maybe just be aware of that. Your message here, your life message here is nurture yourself. And Mother Mary is showing up again. Somebody else got Mary as well. Um, pray to her. I don't care if you're Catholic or religious or not. She's healing. Um, there may be someone in your life by the name of Mary or someone you're connected to or your name may be Mary. This person um, or this angel, angel um, this divine being is watching over you and is protecting your children right now and I feel like for some of you that's a message that you needed to hear because you're worried about your children or a child and you just focus on keeping her energy alive within you and she will be protecting your children okay so i'm going to end your reading there capricorn i hope that you enjoyed this short and sweet i will see you guys in the lives and the weeks and the weeklies and the monthlies will be out soon all right take care bye